We're sitting down with Dr. Zahir Nuwayhead with CMC Weight Loss today to discuss the use of GLP-1 medications such as Ozempic and Wegovy for weight loss. Dr. Nuwayhead is a board-certified surgeon and fellow of the American Society of Metabolic and Bariatric Surgery. So, Dr. Nuwayhead, let's jump into it. Let's start with GLP-1s. Okay, so um, GLP-1 medications, let me start with the GLP-1. GLP-1 is a hormone that we have it in our gut. Um, and these hormones usually, uh, we have them naturally and they help people with two things, losing weight and uh, glucose uh, uh, metabolism. So that's why over the years we learned that this hormone helps people lose weight. So that's why we start working towards getting a medication that imitate those hormones to help people lose weight. And this is how the G1 agonist come to life. And that's how helping people, helping people to lose weight. And what's a semaglutide? Is it the same thing? Yeah, semaglutide is uh, it's a GLP-1 agonist. Um, it has two components. We have the Ozempic and the Wagovi. The Ozempic is the diabetes medication. The Wagovi is for weight loss. Now, both of them are the same molecule. However, the Wagovi is a higher dose, so we use it for weight loss specifically. Okay. And the medications aren't new, you know. They, I think they were FDA approved in 2017 for patients with diabetes. Um, now we're seeing a lot of people, I guess it started more at the end of last year with celebrities, social media influencers, uh, using them for weight loss. So how does that work? Um, I know you talked about the hormones, but is What's it doing for the person, you know, to make them eat less or reduce their calories? Yeah, so um, the way those medications work is um, it works on a different aspects of the body. So um, again, uh, so this medication, it will trigger the body to do several things. One, it will slow down the stomach. So your stomach will not uh, digest the food as fast as it usually does. So this gives a message to your brain that you are full, so the appetite goes down. Also those uh, drugs, they um, increase the insulin uh, 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 hormone and this is the way they work towards diabetes because it will lower the sugar and it will also trigger the liver to produce less sugar um, and this is the way it works. So between between those three mechanisms, so uh, it, it will help people eat less. Um, and then uh, the hormone will trigger the brain to, uh, uh, to, to feel that you are full, so the appetite will go down. And by lowering the sugar through the liver, producing less glucose, it will also help people lose weight. Okay, and you said it slows down digestion. Does it slow down metabolism? No, metabolism is different. Uh, um, I mean, this is a two different aspect. But definitely the digestion part, slowing the stomach, which means that your, uh, your stomach emptying time is less. Um, so yes, the stomach will be working more, so you're burning more calories, but definitely it is more like kind of a fullness feeling that gives the brain the message that you are full. So that's why your appetite goes down. So you will be like, mm, not, like I'm not feeling like eating. Um, and this is the way it works. Interesting. And some people call it a quick fix. What would you say about that? I mean, uh, I mean, obesity is a disease. I mean, it, it is a chronic disease and we don't have a cure for obesity. Uh, it is multifactorial. There's a lot of things that goes into it. Um, I mean, uh, medication, it's effective. It helps people lose weight and it helps them to live a healthier life. But we got to be careful because sometimes the weight can come back as soon as you stop the medication. Um, with the GLP-1 agonist, we don't have that data yet because it is new, so we don't have a long-term data to know if that's gonna happen, but only time can tell us. Mm -hmm. I've heard some people say that, you know, they, they took it and they're off it, and it was the jump start they needed to get into the gym to eat healthier because it is when you're a more obese person, it's, it's hard to get that's moving right. and so, it can kind of be a jumping point, but I can also imagine, you know, wanting more and more of a medicine. Um, one of the most commonly Googled Ozempic conversations uh, refers to Ozempic face, you know, 
for people who don't know, like the hollowed out cheekbones and under eyes, what, how, what is that? And is that because it's the wrong person maybe using the medication? You know, I mean, medications are not for everybody. I mean, uh, we, we have to be realistic here. I mean, it's um, definitely the, 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 the research and the studies are promising and, and, and the, the numbers are um, uh, telling us that those medications are effective. However, uh, it's not for everyone, it's not for everybody, and there's always limitation to everything we do. That's why dealing with obesity is very critical and very crucial, and everybody has to be open-minded because uh, you have a lot of options. Um, you have diet and nutrition, you have the, uh, the exercise part, you have the pills, I mean you can take some pills for weight loss, you have the injectables now with the, with the, with the GIP1 agonist, and then you have the surgery. Uh, remember, I mean, uh, surgery still, studies have shown that this is the best method of losing weight, it's the most effective, the most durable. So that's why here at CMC Weight Loss we are a comprehensive center, we provide all aspects of weight loss care and obesity care. Let's talk about some of those options and also obesity as a disease because some people are thinking weight loss is something for how you look, but obesity oftentimes is will result in a lot of other chronic diseases. Correct. So for people who are really struggling with obesity and their weight, what how can CMC weight loss help them? Yeah, CMC Weight Loss, it's a program that has been growing over the years and um, we here strive for excellence and we try to give our patient all the options they need. So if you come to see us, we always have an option for you. Um, is it diet exercise? Is it medication? Is it surgery? All the options we have it at CMC Weight Loss because we, as you said, we treat obesity as a disease and when you do that, um, you you tackle it from different aspects because remember when you're obese uh, obesity aff affects blood pressure uh, diabetes high cholesterol sleep apnea the breathing the moving everything is affected by obesity so that's why our patients are happy and thrilled whenever they lose weight because they can retain their health and they live longer and healthier lives so um, that's why we have uh, uh, the GIP1 agonist is also something that we can do in our office too because we think that there's a uh, role for every single thing, for every single patient. Um, and I, would, I, I want to emphasize that the point that patients should understand that not every option is good for every patient. Every patient has different uh, 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 diseases of obesity, different uh, weights, uh, different backgrounds. So, so that's why we tailor their, 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 their treatment plan to their uh, specific needs and uh, um, uh, structure. So that's why somebody would be better opt for surgery. Others are better opt for medication. Um, uh, some people, they can have both at the same time. So, so definitely at CMC Weight Loss is uh, a center that we think uh, if you come to see us, uh, definitely we have a cure not, not a cure, we have an answer to your uh, 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 obesity and weight loss needs. Yeah, and that's a great point. Let's kind of break that down. Who would be the example of a perfect candidate for surgery versus the example of a good candidate for GLP-1 medications? Okay, so so the GLP-1 the GLP uh, medication are um, approved for patients that have a body mass index of 27 and above. Body mass index is the ratio of your height and weight. Uh, the normal body mass index is 25. So if you are, if your body mass index is 27 to 30 and you have any medical condition like diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol or sleep apnea, then you qualify for the GLP-1 agonist or the medical weight loss in general. If your body mass index is more than 30, then you do qualify for both surgery and medicine. Um, now, usually I, 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 I recommend surgery for people that have higher BMIs, that they are have diabetes for a long, long time, and they want to lose a lot of weight. Then the surgery becomes a better option because surgery has proven to be very effective, very durable, and very good choice for weight loss. Now, GLP-1 is, uh, if you want to call it, I mean, it can fill the gap. You know? I mean, it is for people that are 
like you know that they are not too heavy for the surgery but at the same time they have the disease of obesity so that would be very good um, uh, very good option for them especially if they are diabetics because remember GLP-1 works on both diabetes and weight loss they are very uh, good uh, good medication in that aspect because as I said before the way they work they work on the pro production of the insulin they increase the insulin production from the pancreas and they decrease the glucose production from the liver so by this the glucose metabolism is affected in a very good way and the diabetes will be better controlled. At the same time, it slows down the stomach and the digestion in the, in, in the, in the stomach and the gut hormone changes in a way that your appetite is suppressed. So it's a very nice dual action between glucose control and losing weight. Yeah, and um, the surgery options, there's a few. So. Okay. Let's also, while we're on, while we're talking about it, let's break those down. Um, what are the surgery options, and who is the right candidate for each? Okay, so surgery option mainly the most, the two most common surgery that we do here at CMC Weight Loss are um, sleeve gastrectomy and gastric bypass, and we do revisions. I mean, if somebody had surgery in the past, like any weight loss surgery, uh, band or sleeve or gastric bypass, we can always do a revision. But mainly, most. Mostly we do a lot of sleeves and a lot of gastric bypasses and we now we do them robotically. Like all our surgeries are, are done through the robot, which is small incision, um, quicker recovery, they go home next day. Um, now, uh, again, it depends on the patient, which one we choose for, for, for which, but definitely both of them are good options. Um, usually the gastric bypass is better for people that have heartburn uh, or reflux disease or very long-term diabetes. The sleeve is more for people that have no heartburn and uh, they are relatively healthier patients. So uh, since we do all of our surgeries here at CMC robotically, so the recovery time is relatively quick. Uh, usually people, they go home next day and they are back to normal activity within a few days. Um, they go home with small incisions. The pain is very well tolerated. Usually they go home on Tylenol, exercise Tylenol, um, and then they, get, they are back to normal activity within a few days. And then, so for people who take GLP-1 medications, it's not a lifetime medication they're on, correct? This is true. Uh, the GLP-1 medications, they are new. Uh, we do have a long-term data yet on them. Um, but yes, I mean, uh, they are meant to be for long-term. But yeah, definitely I would not say this is for life. Uh, uh, at one point, you have to adjust your life to, do, to be ready to get off the medication. Um, now, what's going to happen when they stop the medication? We don't know. Also, we don't have we don't have enough data yet. Um, maybe uh, they might gain some of the weight back because uh, history have told us, especially with the medical weight loss, the minute you stop the medication, people tend to go back to their old habits, uh, and this is normal. I mean, I mean, this is normal because this is the way our body works. Um, but the good thing about those medication, the GLP-1 agonist and the new PO medication for weight loss, they are meant to be for long term. Uh, so people can be, be on them for longer time and this gives them time to adjust their lifestyle and their uh, eating habits in a way that whenever they stop it, hopefully we hope that they will maintain weight loss for longer time. Okay, and with surgery, is it the same where you need to you know keep up those lifestyle changes to con correct. keep the results of your surgery that's correct I mean the surgery was a little bit different than medication surgery is more effective and more durable and you lose more weight on it and it's meant to be more 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 time um, that give you with normal weight but yes even with surgery the same thing as with medicine you have to maintain a lifestyle and you have to follow the program to get the most benefit out of it to hear the rest of this conversation, head over to our podcast, Happier Healthier with Conway Medical Center. You can find it on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, and it will also be linked down below in the comment section.